for the championship ring on it? Uh, you know what? I do. I was going to be on my right two hand. Two raising canes? Two raising canes. Yep. Al, how does it feel seeing so many fans welcome you here today? It's special. It's, uh, um, it, it's, it's just what makes Boston special, you know. It, it, the, the love is it's real here. And, uh, too tight. Too tight. And I just feel very, very privileged. People have been waiting in the sun since Seven this morning. What do you think yeah. about that? Man, the, the energy is unbelievable. I, I'm, you know, just just grateful. This is the kind of stuff you know you dream about, and you know, being in this position right now, I'm, you know, feel pretty grateful. Al, have you been able to talk to David Ortiz since this? I, I haven't been able to talk to him. I, it's been uh, I, I've hardly been able to keep up, you know, with my phone and messages and people and congratulating and stuff like that. I'm, I've really been trying to like take this all in, you know, with the family and stuff. So eventually I'll I'll start making my rounds. How can you get to be the first Latino in to get this premium in the NBA? The first Dominican, because there have been many Latinos, but it's an honor. For me, it's something that's very special. I know what I represent. I know that here there are many Dominicans. There's a very big community here. Y la gente me apoya mucho y de verdad que me siento, me siento muy feliz. ¿Y ese mensaje para los latinos que tienes? Eh, no, un saludo a todos los latinos. Los quiero mucho. Sigan apoyando a los Celtics. Nosotros eh, hay mucho vaquebol por jugar y vamos a, a tratar de seguir haciendo cosas muy grandes. Pues. I'll see this out here. What do you think tomorrow's going to be like? Oh, I mean, I think it's going to be electric. I mean, I, I don't want to, I have no expectations, but I do expect it to be just a lot of great energy. I'm, I'm surprised that it got all the way pushed to Friday, so I feel like they know what they're doing. Like, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, and, and I'm, I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. I was, in, I was seeing the celebration and the fans out there today. What, what's your message to everybody in Boston? What do you wanna tell everybody from the bottom of your heart? Man, I just, I just wanna tell them thank you. I wanna tell them that I appreciate them. Um, uh, you know, we, we play basketball for the Celtics, but we understand we represent much more Boston. We represent the New England area, and I'm just very proud to be able to bring a championship to Boston. When I came here eight years ago, this was kind of what I envisioned, and uh, and it's been hard. It's been a lot of hard work, and uh, you know, a lot of tough losses over the years. But just to get to this point, it's uh, I'm very grateful. Jay, question for you, Jay. <laughs> did, did you go to Miami, and what have the last a couple of days been like kind of basking. Um, I did not go to Miami. I stayed here, and uh, and this is the second time I've actually. I thought it was, it was the second time I left my house. So I've I just been at home. I've had a lot, a bunch of my family over. Um, uh, mom, dad, uh, some of my really good close friends, uh, sisters, brother, and we just hung out for the past couple of days. It's been really nice having the kids running around, just being home, just trying to take everything in. And, um, and, and yeah, so it feels good to be out here and just feel the love, you know, from everybody. What, it's been a long journey for you. What, what have you reflected on since winning the championship? Maybe big moments for you? What, what's um, kind of been your thought process about the journey to get here? I don't know if I've been able to reflect on, on, on it that much. I feel like we're, we're, we're still caught up in you know, the celebration, the confetti going down, everything that just transpired within the last couple of days. I haven't really had a chance to really, like, look at it from that point of view. I feel like we're just, you know, just really caught up in um, just looking at the pictures, looking at videos, uh, just just t trying to take it along with my family and just kind of sharing stories of the night and things like that. That's kind of what we've been doing. What's the experience going to be like behind the counter? Is that, would that be your first time? Uh, I, I've, I've, done, I've done stuff like this before. It, it's, it, you know, I think it'll be cool. And um, 
uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm excited about it. What's your, what's your food of choice? What, what's, your, what's your combo of choice? Uh, uh, you can't never go wrong with tenders. You know, the chicken tenders are, are pretty good. So that, that's get some protein question, in you. One more question. Solid. You want to take a little taste test for us? A little crunch? Um, a little pro. Oh, they brought it out here with the whole with the whole setup. The the sauce really is what makes it, right? Okay. The sauce Can you is the. Guess what's in it? What's the flavor profile? Um, on the on the sauce, let's see. <laughs> Wow. I'm a little hot, but unbelievable. Is this the breakfast of champions or the lunch of champions? I think this might be the lunch of champions. <laughs> Justin, question for you. Yeah, real quick. Uh, as I'm sure you know, you're the first Dominican war player to get the championship. What does it mean for you to be able to represent your country, your family, and your people in such a state? It fills me with a lot of pride, a lot of joy. Um, my dad being the first Dominican player to ever play in the NBA, and for me to get to this point in this moment, you know, I understand, you know, that I represent, you know, more than myself and my family, and you know, there's uh, not only the country over there, but the community here. The community here is very strong uh, in Boston and Mass, and I know people here are very happy. Uh, I'm happy to be able to bring them that joy, and uh, and hopefully, you know, be able to inspire, you know, younger kids. Um, to, to do different things in their lives. So for me, that, that's the biggest thing, that, that next generation to be able to see that and identify with me. I know years ago when David won, David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, Pedro Martinez here, when they were here, I feel like they inspired a bunch of us. I was younger back then and like, and now I feel like hopefully I can do the same for other people. Para quién? Para los chamaquitos que quieren ser el, el eh, próximo árbol. No, eh, un saludo a, a toda esa juventud que se mantenga positiva, que, que sueñe grande. Soñar grande es muy importante eh, y trabajar y esa dedicación, eh, ya sea baloncesto, ya sea lo que sea, pero que sueñen grande, que eso es lo más importante, yo siento que en la vida, no dejar que nadie limite a uno. Al, sí se puede. Bobby, Bobby, sí se puede. Bobby, Al. Al, your son was crying as the final seconds ticked off the clock on Monday. He was pumping his fist and screaming as he walked down the tunnel. How special is that he's able to appreciate how significant this moment is to you? Man, it was so special. I looked at that video. It was very special. Um, he's so involved, you know, with the team. He he really loves being a Celtic. He he um he just really relishes it and and um and to see him throughout the season he being so invested in it so committed with it my girls too my, my daughters are super in, into it but he he's playing now so he's starting to understand it a little more and um for me the most gratifying part is just seeing him happy but also seeing my teammates embracing him and i and i saw in the video Derek white went over gave him a hug and was all emotional with him and you know, he, they, they really care for him, and, and that, to me, um, is, is the special part, that we not only get to celebrate this, you know, with the guys, but we get to celebrate with our families, and our families are, like, right there, and they're a part of it. You know, we sacrifice so much to be in these positions, and uh, it was just nice to see him enjoy this moment. What makes the city of Boston One more question, so and then we got to move on to scripted. One more. Okay. What, what makes the city of Boston so special to you? That you came here been invested in this place for a while this team this franchise man it's just a, it's a special place uh, to me it's um, I, I feel like for me it's the 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 love of the people here for you know for their sports uh, for the game um, uh, when I came here as a rookie um, it just that captivated me that I've been you know all over the country and I just haven't seen the love, the care, the commitment from people, you know, towards not only their sports, but their community. I feel like here in Boston, there's like a real tight community. Like that's a real thing. And I'm out, whether I'm out putting gas in my car, whether I'm in the in the grocery store, like whatever, like people always saying not good things, uh, always embracing me and my family. Um, and it's everywhere in mass. I mean, you talk about in Boston, but you know, we take my kids apple picking, like we go to the beach, we go to the shore, like we go to different places and like people are like the same. They keep the same energy, like people really, you know, love it here. And for me, that that's the thing that captivated me. It was like just a sense of community here and, and the, the togetherness that we have here in Boston. And, and that's that's very special. Al, tuvimos la oportunidad de hablar con tu familia. ¿Qué dice tu madre y tu padre en este premio por último? Thank you so much. Orgulloso de ti, papá. Orgulloso, muy orgulloso de mí, mi mamá, mi papá. Es algo que... 
siempre hemos soñado y yo me siento muy orgulloso que mi mamá y mi papá están aquí compartiendo esto conmigo. Pues yo sé que eso significa mucho para ellos.